Good morning, folks. We've got two significant top science stories today. We're going to look long-term seismically, and we also have a look at the sun. Let's begin there at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star rotated the coronal holes across central longitudes. The solar wind from them should intensify geospace on Sunday. Right now, the solar wind is slightly variable, but wholly within minor to average solar wind plasma pressure. Geomagnetism is quiet. We haven't seen much in the way of flares or CMEs, but we will continue to watch this sunspot group after a decay order got 86 and it started growing at the caboose again this morning. Let's head out to the NRAO. We find a claim of stellar collision with a neutron star producing a supernova. While it further expands the breadth of nova triggers, which is something the observers should favor in the macro catastrophism category, it is hard to get behind their explanation from just the flash and expanding nova remnant. They have no data at all from before the nova at this location and are basically guessing. Up next, a quick nod to rapid vertical displacement of the land. While this isn't quite where observers have pegged something like mantle heaving in many of their minds, it's certainly a vastly more extreme vertical scenario than what mainstream geology has pegged before. But the bigger seismic story today heads to Japan, where an unidentified plate boundary and fault zone has been discovered now, and they think this is the trigger for the Pacific-wide tsunamis, not just the ones affecting Japan, but all across the Ring of Fire. Okay folks, Veritasium one of the most popular science channels on the net. You may recall we gave him a bit of a hard time on his intermediate axis theorem video application to Earth, which he basically framed as the concentric geospheres and symmetry. But of course, that's not what the Earth looks like. In addition to the surface variation, oceans and equatorial bulge, the interior of the planet is not homogeneous or symmetrical. And they know for a fact it's not just chemistry, but density. So the symmetry idea goes out the window even before we get to the lopsided core. But while doing that expose, I made sure to mention that everybody makes mistakes, that this guy had an outstanding channel in general, and the mainstream paradigm has been very good to this guy. Where's the incentive to budge? When he recently put out a video that was epic, reaffirming his place near the zenith of the field, with his look at cosmic rays and computers. Guys, he did an amazing job, 95% and I'm the harshest grader I know, no mercy. He hit the galactic, extragalactic and solar triggered cosmic rays, goes over how vulnerable our electrified way of life is to those surges, and the one thing keeping the video from hitting 100% in my book is the fact that the only thing holding those cosmic rays back is Earth's magnetic field which is fading here in the modern excursion. Folks, take everything in that video and then consider our cosmic ray future with our planetary magnetic shield failing. This is something we can watch for. Now, last but not least, we're at Galactic Physics and the paper is focused on the faintest outer regions of the Milky Way central jet, which is no longer bright and active, but which has left its signatures in the plasma and dust around the galactic core. While this is a fantastic bit of eye candy, they also hit a big nail squarely with a big hammer, and that's the central galactic torus. The torus of the system, whether that's the galaxy, the sun, or even Earth's Van Allen belts, is tilted with the rotating body and not aligned with the plane of the greater system. It's pretty much a ubiquitous case. This tilted torus and misalignment with the plane is part of what's causing an undulating ripple to invade the current sheet, the galactic midplane. The rotation wobble misalignment is central, and propagates outward through the disk, all starting at the torus around the jet. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.